Good morning and welcome to Moopsie in the Morning Born. Yeah, September 17th, 2024. I was going to say 2027. Good morning, Cross. Good morning. I'm looking here in the lounge in our chat, and there's a little thing that Savi has posted here that says, Known issues for today's patch. The badgy ground device may not have the correct audio when in combat. So it mm. is presumably a badgy combat pet. Um, let's see what happens. And for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, there was a hint yesterday that in the Lobby store after the patch today, we will have a badgy pet, we will have a moopsy pet, and we will have the Mark Twain costume all available. Yeah. Good morning, Stargate Wars. Yeah, uh... We, that came up in Chitter Chatter yesterday, and then seeing that in the patch notes, is like, hold on, we have confirmation. Yes, and there may be a few other things well, that have not been mentioned. I, I've heard about the potential for a Moopsy and a Mark Twain costume. What else have you heard of? All of this well, is of course, still uh, What I can confirm that's not known so far is the Moopsy. <laughs> is it a combat pet, you know, or is it just a pet pet? No, I, um, as far as I've seen, there's nothing in the files yet. Uh, well, I, I guess we will find out soon enough. Although, I didn't know about the Twain outfit, though. Yeah, the, uh, somebody had... Uh, like, it about a couple weeks ago. Yeah, somebody had a couple of glitched pictures out there of Gorns wearing the Mark Twain costume, and I'm like... Did they just, you know, do that in Photoshop or something? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. No, but uh, some s possibility of some character hairs. Oh, okay. Obviously, I'm being very vague here. Yeah, yeah, don't tell us anything you can't tell us, but wow, that's so much fun. Oh, God, I've got three Lucari TFOs on this tune. We are so not doing three Lucari TFOs. Good morning, Chosen. You've been up for nearly half an hour now. Well, <laughs> well yeah. no, this Chris, this tune doesn't have to do it, so this tune's just going to ignore it. I, I, definitely surprised, I was definitely surprised to see the Callistos have gotten a revamp. Really? Yeah, it's a list, they're listed in the patch notes as well. Hmm. Sav only gave us limited things. So we're, getting the Ju so we're getting the Jupiter revamp and its Callisto pits. A revamped as well. Okay, let me see if it's going to give me patch notes for today. No. Really, guys? Really? Uh, 917. Let's see what's coming out here. Um... Does the new event start today, or does it start on Thursday? Uh, no, it starts today, okay. once, the, once the server comes up after a patch. So we have a new TFO called Royal Flush, and then the other two are Battle of 359 and Resistance of Starbase 1, and then the new patrols Out of Control and Unwanted Guests. And I'm going to assume on the patrols that you get a ha or you get one point for each, and you have to do a total of two points yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Come here. Come here, yes, you little the, evil child. <sighs> for this event, yeah, the usual. Well, let's see if we can uh, stack those like we do in the past. Um, blah, 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 blah. And then the prize is the Typhoon Temporal Battle Cruiser and Pulse Phaser Weapon Pack. New content is the new stuff we've already chatted about. Okay, so the Jupiter Carrier has been remastered. In addition to the remaster of the Carrier, the Callisto Frigate Pets have been remastered. Um, some terminology, that's okay. Window issue, textures, more visuals. Added a new Exeter Saucer variant, the black nameplate. 
And known issues are the Nova Fleet Recruitment Drive can animate twice sometimes when activated only once. It's a visual issue and does not activate twice. And the badgy ground device may not have the correct audio when in combat. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. It does make me wonder, will there be some new lobby traits when uh, the server comes up? Could be. So... Let's see. Event 5 starts Thursday for console. Good morning, Sav. Um, uh, Chris corrects me. A few different options to display certain fighters in its hangar bay. Well, I stand corrected. And anyone, Xzimmer says, anyone gonna get the new Nova ship? Is that the... Uh, Big fat no. <laughs> Well, if I win one, I might sell it. Yes, dear. Oh, my dog is in my lap being just an attention bad word. She's an attention guarding implement at the moment, aren't you? I'm happy that Badgie is finally coming out because yeah. it's been a uh, long time. Five years? It's, Four it's years. Yeah, but it's actually been um, in development for the last year. Plus, certainly these animations have been. Well, we had thought at one point of doing a tutorial where we'd have an animated badgie to do the tutorials. We thought that would be fun. And then real life. Maybe I'll get back to that. Sav says, hi, I'm badgie. Can I teach you a lesson? <laughs> yes, but Chris, somebody will want the Nova. So if you win one, put it up on the exchange. Make a few billion even though it's a violation of ooh, this time of year, it should be a hero ship. Well, they kind of admitted they're not quite as far along as they should be on some of these things. Why am I not over here? I'm more interested in the Lamar, which, I'll, which at this point will be obviously a promo ship. I'm hoping it's a science vessel. I have got to get me some ships to open up, take out of the boxes, actually use rather than sit there looking at the boxes under the Christmas tree going, ooh, I wonder what's in there. Didn't they run out of hero ships to get to us by now? Hell no. We can always do a few more. I'm sure somewhere in the 58 years of Star Trek, they can find a few more. Because first... For Discovery Season 5, they, they've they yet to give us the Friendship Variant USS Antares, for one. So, and that technically is classed as a hero ship, because it did hero shit in, the first, in its first appearance. So there you go. We got at least one more. And of course, we probably have something pop up during... Uh... Either Lower Decks this year or Strange New Worlds when that comes out for the season. And uh, the eventually the Starfleet Academy. Yep. Uh, possibly Section 31 stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll be curious if there's any Section 31 only <laughs> designs, but... I don't see that as... well, maybe, maybe... Because compared to the days of yore... Yeah, well, we, we know that by Cisco's ca time as Captain, Section 31 is is completely hush-hush. Yes. We still don't know if that's true just 70 years, just 50 years of, ahead of that. Section 31, we don't talk about those guys. Let's see, Sav says the New Orleans isn't a hero ship, but we got that. Same with Wolf 359. Yes, there is a friendship uh, class already yes, in the game. Yes, that, but that's not a ship. That's not, while it's not a hero ship, it's not a hero ship that requires to be put in a lockbox or a promo. It's just a work workhorse. Let's see. The definition of hero ships. Hero ship... Um, uh, 
Let's see, somebody had a good definition of it. Show and movie ships are hero ships. Usually they have plot armor and plot weapons. In Star Trek Online, um, main ships of a particular faction and play prominently in a variety of missions where they help out. So that's probably a decent enough explanation. Or it could just be defined as it's the next ship we want to sell you. Yeah, Chosen, I'm not a discovery person either. But if, if you like it, that's fine. Musen says, I just want my GOM2 and a Bajoran light ship. Yeah, I want GOM2. Well, would anybody like to uh, shoot things? Sure. It's morning. I have some coffee in my body. Not enough, but some. Soft says, it still amuses me that we have playable pack lids. Joshua, I'm not seeing you in game yet. Are you logging in? There you are. Stargate Wars, are you up for a little pew pew? And uh, I was planning to get some stuff done and then no try worries. and get some sleep. No worries. I'm so glad you're here at the moment. But, you know, do what you need to do, because I assure you, once I'm done here, at some point, I'm going to go back to bed. I don't have work today. I just have eight million things going on. And then I'm going back to bed. Let's see. I've got D1 arthropods and AP damage on the ground, so I'm, I don't care. What do you guys want to do? Cross, I need Chris? a Borg TFO. You need a Borg TFO? Yeah. Does Anybody else have anything that ties into a Borg TFO so I can pick? Herald ships, dreadnoughts. Okay, well, let's start with dreadnoughts. Oh, dreadnoughts, we get three in, in or at least two in the ISA. You get or five. Or do Hive uh, Advanced. Yeah, Hive Advanced. And get lots of cubes. Yep. Mom needs a Borgie. Mom has Borgies. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. There's four of us here. We only need to find one more person. Seriously. It can't be that hard. Graz, what have you got for today? Oh, endeavors? Yeah. Uh, I got the other two done. Oh, pff, well, fine. Uh, anyway. While we were talking, I I gone over to. Uh. Oh. Kamali Prime, and oh. got Vardwar and Antiproton. Okay. Ground. When we're Actually, done with this soiree, I'm gonna go see what I've got on another tune and see if I can pull it in. Hi, Joshua. How about this? Yes. Disrupt damage space. Yes. For 50k. Okay. Destructible torpedoes for five, uh, for six. Okay. And kinetic damage for 500,000. You might be able to get that in this one. With the Maelstrom torpedo? Yeah, you are. Yep. <laughs> uh. Only thing that gets borderline is the uh, torps, destructible torps. Uh, yeah, with this team, yeah, yeah. anything's borderline with this team. We dragged in some poor, poor soul, Mystique. Sorry yeah, about this, Mystique. Like when I want destructible torps, I, I saw Nebula. Yeah, but for only six, that's a lot of work for six. Crystal yeah, Catastrophe it, solo. It worked really nice. Yeah, but if, if you do Crystal and Catastrophe in a private queue, 
You can be out of there in a minute. Which I had destructible torpedoes earlier in my brain. It's just doing the. Ooh, Captain Per Captain Specialization Point, a perk point, and a hundred delicking more. Nice. Always good. Is yeah. that an endeavor box? Uh yeah, that's two endeavor boxes done. Uh -huh. Probably should open up all the endeavor boxes I've got. One thing about it, Jeez. this will get my endeavor box will get opened up on my gem hadar. That should be somebody's uh dreadnoughts. Chris's dreadnoughts. Enough. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I played this smart game. I knew the feedback pulse was coming, so I, I didn't fight for the first 30 seconds of that. The ball fight. The queen fight. <laughs> Stop. It's not a matter of logic for not opening the boxes. It's this delayed gratification weirdness I've got. So I tried to look that up, you know, why do people like me just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait to give themselves all the good stuff, sometimes until it's too late. And you know what? That just doesn't appear in a lot of stuff. They're like, oh, this is why you should do uh, delayed gratification. Do I have any disruptors on this account, on this? Just for you, Seth. One, two. I don't even look sometimes. That one. Yeah. Anything else? You know what? Stuff. I fancy doing something <laughs> with the uh, Gorn and Rio stunning. Oh. No disruptor. Sad. There you go, Sab. I have opened the boxes. Anything good? No. Nothing bad, though. I mean, just stuff. Just gets the boxes out of my inventory. And makes Sav happy. Uh, how, how much EC did you get? Oh, I didn't even look. Um, a smidgy. I'm going to switch to a different tune. Yeah, I'm going to do that as well, because I need some disruptors. I don't have them on this team. Okay, give me a sec. On this tune. Uh, Sav, the only reason I hold on to the rep boxes is because I'm lazy. Let, let's not get ourselves. I'm, I'm lazy, and it's like, well, maybe you'll be near, blah, 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 blah. I can find a reason to not do stuff. Maybe it comes down to that deep psychological thought of, I'm not good enough to open up the prizes. No, I have logically here. not opened up Endeavor boxes on my main for a better part of a year. One. That perfect tells you how many endeavor boxes I've not opened on my main. One. Well, I started opening them up when I was running out of money one day. Yeah. Let's see what this tune's got here. Tetrion damage in space, AP damage in space on Gorn on Nimbus. Let's see, Ooh. do we have any Tetrions on this? Oh, well, that's interesting. What else do I need? AP damage. Let's see what I've got for AP damage. Okay, I've got some. Let's see, I do believe Chris said we had something. Let's see, and jumping back into chat here. So I've redis rediscovered the first command battle cruisers without the T6X or X2. It already performs amazingly well. Sad they only revamped the tactical variant skin, whilst the rest look close to decade old old low poly models. Mm. 
Okay, let me team up folks again. How about this? The Overlink uh, quad cannon. Yes. And some Alachi flavor disruptor dual beam. My disruptor damage. <laughs> Sounds like a good time to me. Uh, Sav says, I like the Presidio for console slotting, and I kit bash the looks. There we go. So, um, Gateway to Grethor, does that work for you, Chris, for your Herald ships? Okay. One sec here. Get a little room in the stash here. I'm a very curious person. He wants attention. We will. We will. We will. The dog who is insisting it's time to play because it's six in the morning is now back to napping. Thank you. That's good. Yes, it is good. But I owe them a large W A L K shortly. Mm, that could be delayed till about nine. Oh, uh, I have people coming to give me an estimate on having the house painted at eight thirty, so the dogs will be <laughs> locked inside so that they uh, don't try to kill them. Right. And murder doggies. To strangers, yes. Okay, it, the... admittedly one weighs six pounds and she'll probably ravage your ankles, but that's about it. The other one, if she doesn't like you, you've got a problem. Uh, uh, what, do, what do they think when they saw Ed for the first time? Well, I had them on leashes oh. and they were and snarling and barking. Oh, they were growling. Were yep. they? And then they wanted to kill him shortly thereafter. And then within 15 minutes, Fifi had her head on his lap going, I love you. <laughs> and I do apologize for earlier. Oh no, she's completely unapologetic. But she was that way with my cousin too. Just absolutely angry. And uh, then then we're sitting on the couch and she's got her head on his lap getting her head petted and just and the, I was so wrong about you thing. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we had Grandmaster oh. come over to the house to help us with some stuff a few a year ago. Yeah. And he just com walks in completely ignores her doesn't say a word to him. walks through the house unannounced comes out backyard we're working and the dog's like but 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 me i'm here and he's just like yeah i've got dogs and i'm just ignoring you poor doggo Um, Dang. They didn't last long. No. They're saying that I have improved my build since the last time we saw it. When was the last time we saw this build? Uh. Well, considering I changed one of the main components of the build to a certain Awani console, yeah. yeah. Sav says she's been awake since 4.15 yesterday. Why? Why, Sav? Oh, <laughs> I agree. Where's what, Harold? I'm going planet side. Oh, because you're not tired. Well, that's uh, a fine reason. You can help me come out and transplant the raspberries before we hit the gym after we're done with having the people come out to do the, the estimate. Who's the unlucky fella who... Who's the unlucky person who came with us? Is it's still re fifteen. Oh, the Romulan. How unfortunate. What? Well, there's pew pew to be had, and you can get some free herald ships. Oh, speaking of free herald ships, which I'm not, uh, we are going to be doing some ship leveling for Lexers tonight. Or, excuse me, tune leveling for Lexers tonight. So if you want to come out and play pew pew. Come on out and play pee -pee. So I've got lotto tickets for tonight and tomorrow. It's nothing impressive tonight and tomorrow. 
I think tonight I may join you for that because, okay. well, I need to level a good number of vessels. I might even get my act together and grab a few ships that need to get leveled up. Some of them are, shall we say, on my tactical captain. So what's your so what's your lot of grand prize that you're dealing with? No, 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 I wanna close this one, not that one. Tonight is 80 million and tomorrow is 20 million. Well, if you win them both, that's great. And let's face it, the odds of winning two of them are about the same as the odds of winning one of them. Not significantly different. You having fun there, Joshua? Yeah, zip, 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 zip. We know who drank all the coffee this, this morning. Has the, this ship has the beam overload extension trait on it. Good morning, Rachel. How are you today, dear? I've got my ship set up so super area to now for this every single time as well. Oops, so. That's not what I wanted. Want this one. Cannon. So we get cannon fodder all the time. How's that sound? Does it make you happy? It's satisfying. Okay. Lord. And that's all that matters. I, aside from lacking in coffee, I'm fine. Wow. You should get your big, you know, you should get yourself a big hot steaming pot of it. Well, it is Tuesday, which is buy one get one free at the uh, coffee shop. So when I head over to the gym yeah, a little bit later. Get, get them to fill up a flask and say, well, big hot steaming hot pot of coffee, please. No, no, get a 52 ounce, or two 52 ounce double bucks. Of course. That'd be perfect. I'll take three. I'll be awake in the next three days. I don't think that monk would drink that much coffee. I could in my younger days when I lived on coffee. So Chosen is asking, what ship should I get from the Zen store? That's an interesting question. Uh, legendary or non-legendary? Well, since I he's asking, uh, I'd go legendary. But if it's T6, is it the T6 coupon? I don't know. Chosen is at the T6 coupon. Non-legendary. Um, partly it depends on what you've already got and how you like to play. Yeah. And what you're wanting to do. Yep. And if you've got a theme going on. Thirty-four seconds left. Thirty-four Curious. seconds for that dare dreadnought to live still. Oh no, no, it takes fifteen seconds for him to manifest. He's got a few minutes left. 
The Gagarin, the Arbiter, and the Achilles are good choices. I like the Gagarin a lot. The Arbiter is classic. I think I've got one in a box someplace, or in a package someplace. Alright, I'm heading back up there. So I can add my minuscule pew pew <laughs> to the soiree. The Bozeman, I think. Is it not the one that gives you a. Back your net drones? Yeah, uh, uh, Temporal Surge. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, they are. Sure. <laughs> Did you get your Herald chips? I'd be very surprised if he didn't. Let's see, I don't think I can use the coupon to get newer ships that are newer than two years. Well, the Gagarin is definitely more than two years. Arbiter's way uh, more than two years. That's actually a bug. No, I thought they said that. Mm, I think I've seen where that is actually a bug, and that should not be a thing. Because I think it should be it should be in line with the uh, premium tier six bot. No, no. Uh, the they've came out and said that pretty much uh, this year, any ships that have been, if it's released this year, you're not going to be able to get use the coupons for another two years. On it. Wow. And so. Pretty much, it'll be like ne next year or something. Sav says, I'm surprised you're flying that ship, Mom. Those temporal escort ships were a big flop. Here's the thing, Sav. This is one of Ed's. So I will never get rid of it. But yeah, I need to get some other ones. But this is one he put together, and I think it was the last build he put on Spoimler. So I haven't done anything to change this, just, you know, yeah. just because. But he doesn't have a lot of other ships in this one, so I will start putting together. Spoimler and Carl both need good ships, and on the other count, Bruce and uh, Peter Porker need new ships. So we have some work to do. I don't know if uh, Defender of Rio Station. Yeah, I can do that. I need to do it on a different tune, though, so... Does anybody else need to do Rio Station? No. Chris, do you hey, need to... If, if we need to do it, I'll, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> Indeed, Sav. I don't need it. Uh, Graz, did you say you needed it? No. And Joshua, did you need it? Yes. Okay. I'm going to kick people here, because I need to switch back to the other count. I did on all of them except my main account. Wait, what? Your main was not... Well, I was thinking last night somebody would need to do it, so we'd do it as a group. No. And then nobody needed it last night. Well, they did, but we did on all my minor accounts, and by the time I was over to number five, everyone's like, we're done. Run number five. Yes, so this is run number five. Chris, do you want in on this, or you want to sit this one out? I can put my disruptors away. Mm-hmm. For another day. Put that box away. So we'll run through this one, Chris, and then we will go do another spacey pew pew. 
Let me key this one up. It shouldn't take long if, if it queues up. There we go. We will. Yep. I was doing this with Mar Hawkman on Elite, and it's actually faster on Elite with um, a pug than it is with a pug on Advanced. Let's see. I need AP damage on the ground. Let's see, let's see if I can get any AP damage on the ground. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Uh, well, maybe. You got AP damaged ground? Yeah. So this is funny. It... This one lets me grab a flashlight. But on my newer tunes that don't have the flashlight, I can't get the flashlight. That's not crazy. That tune needs a 32nd century AP flashlight. Yeah, no. What? Um, Endeavor's group yes. has got this TFO fully flashed out. Oh, yeah. This is, this is actually an easy TFO. Good morning, Kraut Goes Wild. By the way, that's a very good name. How are you doing today? If this TFO didn't need us to get back and forth in that stupid office, I'd like it. It's not the worst thing we've got. That's right, Graz, you and I were doing this one. As we were following each other. And nobody get hit with those, uh... Fighters? Yeah. It's an optional in Elite not to get uh, hit by them. Crowd goes wild, says, a little jet lag. What are you jet lagging from? Returning from your nephew's marriage in New Zealand to Europe is quite a trip by plane. Yes, it is. My last trip over... Well, okay. New Zealand was the second stop. I went to Melbourne in Australia. Straya first. Then up to... Uh, or over to New Zealand for a week and a half with my Australian friends. Then back to Australia. And all of this via London because I used to fly a lot on British Air when I went to Europe a lot. <laughs> and you know, you're taking this basically 40 hour flight they're like would you like the free upgrade to first class why yes yes I would thank you very much frequent uh, flyer miles can be wonderful why you guys just run around doing that I'm gonna stop I'm sorry but I must ask North Island South Island That's fine, Sav. That just leaves more flights for me, though. I will tell you after my last adventure on South Southwest Southwest Airlines, I'm not flying Southwest again. Next trip to Vegas is in a car again. Going to New Zealand by car slightly more challenging, however. <gasps> Ooh. We were in Queenstown. Queenstown? Yeah, Queenstown. And then went uh, climbing in the Fiordlands at the Milford Sound.
which was lovely. But cold, it was the first weekend that they had the uh, paths opened after the winter. And it was really cold. I used to hate flying Saab, and then I wound up with two jobs in a row that required me to be in an airplane 15-20 oh. hours a week. Or as I like to call it, the toothpaste tube. No toothpaste tubes. Transporters would be nice, though. Commercial transporters for Like commuters. what you've seen Picard? Yeah. <laughs> Just something to get from here to there. Super easy. That would make... You're, like, only, what, 30 seconds away? <laughs> yep, wouldn't that be great? It's not cold yeah. until it's 40, uh, minus 40 degrees. Uh, yeah, yeah, it really is cold way before that. You just go to Antarctica for a few minutes. No. Talking about negative 40? Yeah. That's actually the one temp that both yep. That's Fahrenheit, where Fahrenheit and Celsius agree on. Yep. Uh, I'm going to head off. All right, Stargate Wars, thank you so much for being here. You have a good rest, I hope. Get some sleep. Take care of yourself, Layers. all that important stuff. One down. Three to go. Yes, yeah, I don't like cold. You are welcome to my share of cold. Oh, tell you this, the only downside about winter <laughs> is the freaking ice. If I didn't have to deal with it, I wouldn't mind winter. Just go to Spain and uh, have a One more. Where's the last one? Is there somebody over here? There is one right here. Huh. I need to speak with you. Yay! Sav says, I grew up what? in Montreal where the winters had 15 feet of snow in the Our yard. Are under control, oh but boy. There's an Elachi force in My brother's from the UP, eh? And, Take yep, that's a good overnight snowfall. <sighs> oh, I've had snowfall in the summer. It's too sad. I'm from Chicago, come on. We have stupid weather. There's your all four cameras done. <laughs> hey, Sav, you're talking with somebody from Chicago and somebody from Oklahoma. If, if you want to try and do weather smack, yeah, we we don't, can compete. Don't, yeah, don't don't try to one up us. It's like here in Oklahoma, the only two natural disasters we don't have. Volcanoes and tsunamis. Because you're landlocked, that's why. Yep. Well, yeah, uh, it's pretty much Oklahoma take. No, Texas takes the. We'll take the full brunt of the tsunami. Now, hurricanes. In a, in a sense, yes, we do get those. Yep. Just, we even get but, those. But by the time that they get up here, they've lost a good chunk of their oomph, but we still get them. Or it can't. Okay. 
so Sav, um, my brother went to school in Houghton, Hancock, Michigan. Average snowfall, 200 inches a year. Average. So most of the houses there are two-story, fairly narrow, with, you know, your main doors on the ground floor, and then a second main door on the second floor, because at some point, the snow's going to be that deep. Yay! Got the juicy officer on the Klingon recruit done. Yay! And I got the juicy officer at that par. Let's see. Kraut goes well says, I'm more accustomed to rain. Born in Ireland while my mother worked there. Met my father along the way. Ooh, I was in Ireland to meet Beardy, one of our uh, former fleet admirals. What was that, 2016? Oh my god, that was eight years ago. I'm feeling old. Old? Hmm. <clears throat> That means all this character has to do now is random TFOs. Joshua, are you on a Klingon tune? Yes. Interesting. Let me invite you to a party. (laughs) That happens. Okay, we're just going to go with it. Chris, I tried to invite you to a party. No, I haven't heard from Beardy since 2018. I think that's when he left the game. Was his name? Oh, finally got it. No, just re-engineered the isomac. Finally got Pacer. <laughs> yeah, I've got like, I've got like twenty some of those at this. Point. Probably should kick oh, Beardy out to of here too. Mm. Um, I talked to Ver about. Oh, okay, Chris. Um, I talked to Ver. Maybe seven months ago, because he was thinking about going to Vegas for DT's wedding. He pops in every now and then. We chat occasionally. But he is real life. Um, so Chris is eating. So Graz, Joshua, what do you guys want to do? How about resistance to star base one or I'm going to do that. Graz, does that work for you? Yeah. Okay, even though we're going to wind up doing it a lot. <laughs> hey, it's just good practice, right? Yeah. Like, nobody's going to have any problem with that, I don't think. And we're still trying to work out how Klingons can be joined with a Federation tune at this point. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Because, technically... God. There is at least maybe one or two tunes that it's, are permanently able to be invited. This is interesting. It's not letting me queue because you are here and it's two different tunes. Uh, get rid of my I main. Did. I did. Let's try that yeah. again. But still letting you be in the party. Okay, there we yep. go. Yep. <laughs> Is it weird to have this type of... We're, we're just going to say... We're going to smile and say thank you. Yep. When can we have mixed teams permanently? So, Kraut goes wild. I was in Ireland during December of 2016. And other than the days being incredibly short, that was a great trip. Got to meet Beardy, went over to England to hang with a friend. My son got to go see Warhammer World. Then off to Paris for a few days. Back to Sweden to visit family. Yay! You didn't miss anything. We're just chatting about Ireland and fleet mates from Ireland. (sighs) I've still got a lot of storyline to do on this character. Yeah, I went back and looked at I have storyline to do on almost every character. Unfortunately, it's like one episode missed here, one episode missed there. Let's see. I brought the entirety of the Iconian arc. I will go from the Iconian arc to the Klingon Civil War arc. <laughs> yeah. Are you being my good guard dog there? The one's going, Rrr. You want to give me a second choice here because this one's not popping? Uh, try any. Okay. 
Perfect not popping because people know it's the new TFO. Yep. Try the defensive one. Hmm. I've got that queued up as well. Let us see what happens. Or we could do the event daily, I don't mind. Yeah, probably people are trying to get that one in. Oh, speaking of, um, the Universal tomorrow is uh, Repair Hall of a Teammate, 50,000. I can't remember what oh. it is over the weekend. Oh, it's uh, Turn in Tribbles or Prisoners over the weekend. Wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. And it's the one we initially queued. Mm hmm. It is. Solo Defensive Starbait 1 Elite. Yes, I cannot do that, Sav. Maybe one day. So if you need tribbles for sun or for the weekend's universal, there's a ton in the KDF fleet bank. Please help yourself. Please. Please, even the dead ones are taking over. Pardon? Yeah, I thought uh, ten triple car carcasses. carcasses. Yes, go to the KDF bank. They're sitting there. Well, I'm currently farming them myself, so... Yeah. I have one tune that basically is my bank manager and he does triple farming on the side. The Borg are using reality for Who has joined us? Hmm. Who bought the flying jellyfish? Not me. Oh. That would be Dejar Hoots Force. And we have Nixon joining us today. That's okay, he can jellyfish out there. Oh. The rest of us can go pee pee. <laughs> Here they come. Food coma. Food coma. Such a good thing. Let's see, Defensive Starbase 1 will definitely be a grab the jellyfish with five of four of your friends. Everybody take a position and just sit there. Something Chris oh. hates, but... Yeah, have five of them in a TFO. Yep. Yeah, that's one way of... We should do that tonight. Five jellyfishes on since the Starbase 1. That may be a Thursday night because we are we're going to do all the new content tonight, but we're also going to uh, assist with leveling. Though I suppose we could level using the new content. It's TFOs and patrols, and those both count for XP. Yeah, why not? Two birds, one stone type thing. You know how you make that even more ridiculous? Shuttles? No. You put the bottle sentry mode on there. Oh god. <laughs> so the ultimate, I don't give up. I don't need to actually do this thing, it'll just do it for itself. Yeah, it's the most AFK boat I've ever seen. I'll say that I did put it on a friend's account. So I've says, I told you to go pew pew before we left space dock. Well, yeah, I, do, do we think we have enough time to run a red alert after this? Sure, absolutely. Board or Yep, we'll your, your pick. Yeah, because uh, as soon as we get done with this one, uh, my countdown timer will be... Counted uh, down. Yeah. Uh, enough to give me the actual finish. By the way, when does the red alert end? Because it's telling me it ends on August 22nd, which means it's either going to run for the next 11 months or the calendar's broken again. Or somebody just didn't update that. Well, I, well hey, I would love it to last for that long. Yeah, because then I get lots of lithium out of it. 
then what? 3.6 billion dill later? No, it caps at 50. Yeah. But still, the, all the... Heck of phrase. You know, it's just, we only get one, but still the... Uh, all the... Mark Farming. I'm sorry, the children are being noisy. Yeah, I'd like to see Red Alerts just back as a regular thing. They're fun. They're easy. I think next year they need to step away from so many events. Yeah, they're not going to, but they really do need to. People get burned out on so many events. Because either they're going to burn out the entire community, or there's going to be a revolt at some point. Skip the Red Alert weekend uh, events. Yeah, the red alerts are nice, but they don't hand out anything necessary or... Well, you get an upgrade, right? Yeah. But half the players probably already have everything... Yep. ...maxed out. Or close to it. Oh, when people stop doing the red alert the way they do it right now. Because if everyone's doing it, they're going to keep putting it out there. Sob says I still have tunes uh, that have specs to max out. Yeah. Well, that's because I keep making more tunes. I will be one of those people who will break out the jellyfish just to do the TFO. Well, I have a jellyfish on one of my low-level accounts, so for that tune, this would be perfect to grab his jellyfish and just let him do that. I just won't tell Chris when I'm doing it. Or oh, you just don't bring him. Oh, I'll do it at night with that tune. Um, Sav, is the red alert done today? <laughs> Well, you don't like it when we jellyfish, so I I won't bother you with doing it. Sorry, <laughs> crazy. You're meant to hear it, Chris. We're probably going to get blasted later with that one. <laughs> oh. Well, let's see. It's usually seven days on these, so it started on Thursday. Come on, let's get you out of there. On this character. Oh boy, I need to grind some dill today. Right. Well, his reps are almost done. That is one advantage. And he will be the first Klingon to have all the uh, reps done. Oh, congratulations. Sav so says, blog says the RA ends on Thursday, which is what I had thought. But I have my toys, so all is well with the world. I think during this next event, I won't mm -hmm. use my main to do it. I'll use one of my alt, my main alt to do the A events main now. Yes. Which will be Labor or Scroll at this point. Which will now take over as main active, you know. You know, as the main uh, tune that does all the events. Yep. Does that make sense? Well, I try when possible to use my lower level tunes for the events because they need the marks and the XP. Yeah. And there's enough people in there who are going to be able to carry them. 
Yeah, I may actually do that. Take some of my low level tunes, like my other KDF. Stuff like that. So, Graz, you said you wanted to do the RA? Yeah. Chris, did you want to join us for a quick RA? Saf, when you talk about Nick's jellyfish build, which Nick? Because <clears throat> I know a few Nicks. Okay, no worries, Chris. We're just going to do this really quick. Did you care uh, whether it's Borg or Tholians? Uh, either, Borg or Tholian, either one. I have. Because we woo. We woo. We woo. Yeah, because pr pretty much we're going to be in and out in about two minutes. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah. that's that's pushing it. Oh, Nick MP. Okay. <laughs> like we were joking. <clears throat> yeah. And decloaking in three, two, one. Will I get there in time? Nope. Not even close. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> Speed is good for some things. Not for all things, but for some things. Well, in this case, speed was completely necessary for Do so Dotmon can go back to bed. Well, <clears throat> excuse me one second while I get a hit of coffee. <coughs> Smother yourself in the coffee? Wait, what? I remember the line from a Mae West movie where the cowboy's talking to her and says, Ma'am, they don't call him a speedy for nothing. She goes, as long as they don't call you speedy for everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Less of that should be good enough. Oh, that's finally done. Yay. That's finally done. Oh. All right. Uh, 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 tech upgrades? Yeah, I accidentally queued them. I was trying to do the other ones and queued those by mistake. So some of those are out of the way. I still have 3,000 to convert. Uh, Takes a while. Yeah. yeah. It's life. Uh, that's what, coming up in four months? Yeah, I want to get all of them from last month done before February hits this month, this year, or next year. All right, so I'm going to, as uh, Joshua just said, did I see your DM? Which one, Sav? Well, I'm going to go ahead and log off here. Alrighty, and, as uh, soon as Sav tells get me. Get ready for it. Yes, yeah, Sav, I commented on it that you looked amazing, or your cars looked amazing, because of course you're not in the pictures, but, and that you were the hotshot driver. Talk to you guys later. Take care, Graz. You have a great day, and we'll see you tonight, you I hope. Too. Okay, see you then. But yes, Sav, I definitely saw your picture and was ooing and eyeing over it, so. All right, everybody, I am out of here, and as we like to say around here, Stay moopsome. Moopsie. Moopsie. Can I believe her? And at that moment, Loki's like, rawr, 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 rawr. <laughs> I will go back and listen to 